nudibranch literally means naked gill. And this order of sea slugs has the name because they lost their shell completely and with the shell they lost the mental cavity, a cavity within the shell where the lungs or gills were located. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are now exchanged with the water through the skin of the bag, through the skin extensions that all nudibranchs display. Those extensions are called serrata and can have many different shapes. Nudibranchs are predators, as hard as that is to believe, but they hunt other animals. Obviously only such which are even slower than the sea slugs themselves or which are sessile like sponges. Nudibranchs live in all oceans and habitats, but the predominant number we do find in the Indo-Pacific. As all gastropods, they are hermaphrodites, so they have both sexes and produce eggs and sperm at the same time. But they cannot fertilize themselves, so two nudibranchs exchange the spermatophore and then the eggs are fertilized. The eggs are laid into a gelatinous spiral into a nest which usually has a typical structure and arrangement and is attached to, to their preferred food. The eggs develop into little villager larvae which still have the shell and then the juvenile sea slug metamorphose out of that. Most sea slugs are very colorful and they are active during the day. So how do they survive? Actually, the color is a defense mechanism saying, hey, be careful, I might be toxic. And in some cases, that is true. Some nudibranchs produce a toxin which is able to kill fish. Others produce some acid which make them taste disgusting. And then there is another mechanism. Nudibranchs of the family Flabellinidae feed on stinging animals like sea anemones, but instead of being stung by the stinging cells, they incorporate those cells and transport them into special areas at the tip of their serrata, where the cnidophores, the stinging cells, are ready to sting fish which try to feed on the sea slug. Also, this pterolydia species incorporates something in the tips of their serrata, but not stinging cells, but symbiotic algae, which they take from their food. So those nudibranchs are capable of producing their food through photosynthesis.